New federal training rules are now in effect for people who want to learn to be commercial truck drivers and the places where those drivers would be trained. It is designed so everyone receives the same minimum amount of training across the country. But as our Christian Hauser found, some trucking advocates say the new regulations don't go far enough in the name of safety. The new rules not only mandate what must be taught to these new drivers, they will also allow the Federal Motor Carry Safety Administration to track those new drivers as well as where they learn to drive a truck. Now, Louis Pugh with the Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association says that creates some needed accountability. They will be able to go back and look and see, like if they're having a lot of accidents for some reason, they can go back, are these guys coming from this school or this carrier that's self-training them? or whoever. So hopefully it will bring some safety. But Pew and other critics say the new regulations are missing one major component, a minimum number of hours behind the wheel. In the state of Missouri, it takes a thousand hours to get a barber's license to cut hair. Okay. To drive a truck where you can kill someone or kill yourself. Don't think too many barbers kill people. <laughs> There's no set minimum standards. Dan Horvath with the American Truckers Association says there's no need for a minimum number of hours. Why shouldn't there be a minimum number of hours that a, that a trainee spends on the highway, on the roads? We think that the competency-based approach for entry-level driver training is the right route to go. Horvath says the idea of a minimum number of hours was brought up before the adoption of these new rules. But he says everyone is different, so there's no one number that's best. Say the magic number is 200 hours of behind the wheel training. Just because an individual has 200 hours of behind the wheel training doesn't mean that that individual is competent in, in proceeding through the maneuvers of operating that CMV. He goes on to say that new drivers must master a skill before being able to move on to the next one. And for some, that could be quick, while others, it may take a while longer. But advocates like Pew say that there's a big difference between a skill in an empty parking lot versus going highway speeds down an interstate and something happening. In Walton, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. There's also a pilot program set to begin, which would allow a limited number of 18 to 20 year olds to drive across state lines. Currently, they're only allowed to drive within their own state.